Hey guys, Skull here, and uh, Euro Truck Simulator 2 1.6 is out, the patch is out, and coinciding with that is World of Trucks, the website. Very, very exciting times we live in. Uh, this is a promise delivered, if you remember back in the Euro Truck livestream when we were talking to Bevel and he mentioned World of Trucks back then. Well, he's only gone and done it. This is the first of some big improvements coming towards Euro Truck, I think, in particular World of Trucks integration. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the new stuff in 1.6 within the game. And then we're going to have a quick look at World of Trucks. And I'm going to talk about and show you some of the functionality that you can now do within the game. So, let's get started, shall we? The first thing is uh, World of Trucks. This is it. Worldoftrucks.com. The site, this is an alpha. It has been launched. This is what the site looks like. You can now go here. And you can create an account. As you can see, I've already created mine. The squirrel's nuts. And you can register in one of two ways. Either with a product key, assuming you bought it outside of Steam. Or, if you've got Steam, you can actually log in through Steam on the website. And it will integrate, check that you've got your truck, and off you go. Either way is perfectly valid. You can, of course, if you've got a Euro truck key, you can just pump that straight into Steam and use the Steam version of the game instead. And that does have some advantages in terms of it automatically updates. Uh, if you've got the game outside of Steam, then you can go to worldtrucks.com and if you click here, look at this, 1.6 is here, download by clicking that link. Now it is gonna hit Steam very, very shortly. Um, if you you can get a beta version if you go into properties of Eurotruck in Steam and go to the beta tab and you can, you'll see a version of the 1.6, but I've not gone for that. I'm not, I'm not sure if that's working properly. Be patient, wait a day or two, and it should hit Steam very shortly. Anyway, so what's it all about? What, what's this World of Trucks thing? Well, basically, this is uh, an online website, and this thing integrates with 1.6 of Eurotruck. Now, there are some features that have been launched immediately with 1.6. If we go and look here, the first thing is this. When you create uh, an account, you'll be able to create your own driver avatar, so you can put whatever you want here, uh, I've obviously put my Squirrel logo. This will then appear inside the game as your company profile icon, which is kind of cool. Uh, so you don't have to have some ugly mug anymore and a little stupid company logo. You can actually have this, which is which is really nice. The second thing is the license plate. Uh, you can select um, your country, whatever it is, and then it'll show you the format. For example, if you go to Poland, it'll show you. <laughs> it'll look like a Polish, see what I mean? And GB happens to look like that. Uh, and then you could basically put whatever you want. So you could go for a, you know, uh, if it was in the UK, it might be EA61 something, something, something like this. Personally, I've just gone for squirrel. <laughs> put what you like in here. The important thing is this, when you then restart the game, this will appear on your truck as your license plate. How cool is that? But that's not all. You can also, if we go to my favorite gallery, I haven't got anything there, but there is a gallery in here as you can see some people presumably SCS have uploaded some screenshots and they're quite cool but you can now make your own screenshots within your truck and I'm gonna show you that later on but first let's go back inside the game and look at some of the the features okay so 1.6 has brought out first of all the Iveco trucks now have um, Iveco sounds recorded from an Iveco truck, so they, they should sound a lot more realistic. The second thing is there's an option. If you go to options and then gameplay, you will see this thing here, fuel consumption simulation. It's turned off by default, uh, but I've turned it on. Now, if you turn it on, basically what happens, I asked Pavel about this, and apparently what it does is it then looks at the data coming from the engine. As you may know they've actually built some telemetry now inside the game so the engines publishing all these kind of statistics so it depends on the engine power it depends on the engine load what weight you're pulling what kind of angle you're going for and presumably how far you've got your foot down on the throttle what kind of revs you're doing all that telemetry is taken into account in order to simulate a more realistic fuel consumption so if you this is obviously an option taking it towards the more sim end and i love it now, I've got air brake simulation turned on, which causes your brakes to fade out and stuff. And I've also got fuel consumption turned on. It's up to you whether you want to go for it. It might cost you a bit more money, because you might spend more fuel. Uh, but if you want it more realistic, then you'll want to turn that thing on. Second thing is in the job market. 
uh, they've created a higher probability of, um, oh, you can see them up here in Helsinki at the moment. They've created a higher probability of short jobs appearing, these little short runs, which is nice. So you should start seeing, you can see there's four there already. There's, you know, four jobs straight away that are less than 250k. Yeah. Which is good. So you can do like little jobs if you've got half an hour before you have to go out, you know, and the wife's nagging you. You can just fire this thing up and do a short job, you know, get your trucking thing done. Uh, so that's another thing. They've got this adaptive automatic transmission. I'm not sure on the details of that one. Uh, you might want to have a... I've not written any de detail about that, so I'm not really sure what adaptive automatic is. Um, I've got manual transmission gears anyway, so that doesn't really affect me. Uh, okay, so what else have we got? Well, you've got... Um, 1.6, I can tell you, works with ProMod. If you look at the world map... You see them up in Helsinki, and obviously this is not standard. This is Euro This is Pro Mod. Okay, going east is down here. So you know, basic Euro trucks. This going east over here. Pro Mod up here. 1.6 seems to work just fine with uh, going east and Pro Mod. Obviously going east because that's SCS, but it does work with Pro Mod. So that's good to know. Don't know about TSM. Have not tried it with TSM at all. So you'll have to sit, suck it and see. I'm afraid now. Let's get on to some of the cool stuff, shall we? Let's go back to drive, and you'll see I am basically sat at the uh, garage in Helsinki. Now, if we go to the upgrade shop, and you're going to like this, let's go up to the roof up here. Look at this. If we click on these things here, Look at we've got the they got the horns the air horns now we did have some air horns before but they were just purely cosmetic now they're actually functional they're functional air horns I kid you not so you can see I don't know if you can see very clearly but I've got two of these things called uh, what are they call sirens or something screamers that's it I've got a couple of screamers here and here you can't see it very well um, if I do if I click away like that. And you can see it. One screamer there, one screamer here. In order to hear this, and this is an important step, you only need to do this once. Go back into your options, go to your keyboard settings, scroll down, and you will see you've got the horn, which is the standard thing here. Now, I had that. This is what it was like when I started 1.6. My button that I used for horn was, was defaulted here, right? And there was nothing mapped for air horn, only the N key. So what I did was I remapped my steering wheel button like so. Okay, and then once you've remapped that, when you go back into the game, stick your head out the window, listen. How cool is that? How cool is that? You can finally get rid of the absolute dreadful Scania horn and all the other trucking horns in favour of this. Brilliant. But that's not all, because obviously if you go back into the garage, he says pressing the wrong button, go back into the upgrade shop, right? Click on the roof, click on that. Let's try something else, yeah? So you can play around with these. Let's go for thunder. Right, stick a couple of thunders on there like that. Confirm the order. Go back out again. Stick your head out the window. <laughs> Completely different, yeah? And you can basically, you know, you can put combinations of these things on your, on your roof. Obviously, you need the space, but... You can play with this until you find something that you're really happy with. Let's go for the tone here, and maybe that tone there. Let's try a combination. So I've got one tone and the other tone. No idea what it's going to sound like. Should be fun listening, though. <laughs> there you go. I just held down the uh, the button there, the whatever button you mapped. You can play with this. I suggest you save your profile, for, uh, save your game first, and then go to the garage, play around. And then when you're happy, load it back in and then just stick those horns on the top because otherwise you'll spend a lot of money buying and selling horns. But that is such a cool thing. A real horn, for goodness sake, how long? Anyway, so that's one of the cool things, but that's not my favourite thing. Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to drive the truck over here. I've got to show you this. This is, this is one of my favourite things in the game since it's been released, I think. I'm going to park up over here. Not surprisingly, there's MAN trucks here because I'm at the MAN dealer. That might prove quite useful, actually. Let me show you what I mean. 
Okay, I'm gonna park in the sunshine. Like so. Let's turn the engine off. Actually, let's turn the wheels, because wheels always look cool. You'll see what I mean. There we go. Right, so, normally this is your camera, right? You can, you can fly around like this. And this is how you would normally do screenshots and stuff. Well. SCS have only gone and gone stuck this in. Look up here, top right. Photo Studio. Okay? Click on Photo Studio. You've got two things. You've got Photo Mode and Screenshot Manager. Now, the Screenshot Manager I'll talk about in a second. Click on Photo Mode. If that doesn't take you straight to your car, here's a tip. Your truck, sorry. Press R to reset it. And that will bring you here. Now, you can see that the controls appear. W, A, S, D, and Q and E. So, obviously, A and D do that. W and S do that. And Q and E do that. But you can also use your mouse. Like so. Just hold your mouse button down and you can pan around. So, now, look at this. You can fly up above your truck. You can fly down the side of it. You can get right down to the ground like that. What the point of this thing is, so that you can create some epic screenshots. Now, I mean epic, because let's just have a look at the controls on this camera. All right. So, we've got the field of view, which is this thing, which lets us zoom in, or go really wide angle. So, you know, obviously, wide angle lens creates this kind of fishbowl effect. Look. So you can get these crazy screenshot angles like this. And then you've got the depth of field. Now, look, can you see at the back here? Can you see the trees in the detail? Watch the uh, watch the, the focusing plane as it goes backwards. Imagine an invisible plane that's moving backwards, and it brings the, it basically brings the background in and out of focus, okay? And then you've got the, the blur transition depth, which is how far you want the blurring to go. Now, can you see that? It's obviously very much out of focus. If I just open that up slightly... This is why I park next to another truck, because well, you can see it or not, but now the front of my truck is in focus, and the MAN at the back is out of focus, and you can adjust that like this, so I can get it so that just the front of my truck is in focus, and even my own wheel is out of focus. That's called a very short depth of field, and you can adjust the blur strength so that it can you know, decide how much blurring you want, like that. So effectively, you're playing with the camera settings, it's adjusting the focal length of the camera, the how wide angle the camera is. It's true, if you know anything about cameras, it's basic, you'll understand what I mean. Otherwise, just slide these things around so you get something that looks really cool. Then you click on that, and that will create a snap for you. And you can just play around this to your heart's content, basically. You can come up here and go like that and create another screenshot. And then you go to your snapshot manager. And here are the photos that I've created. So these are, I created these and posted these yesterday. If you remember on the Facebook page, I put these out. And then obviously the two new ones that I've just put here. Now what you can do, you can either click desktop, which will put them in the screenshot folder, uh, wherever your um, documents are. If you just find a screenshot folder, you'll see it there. Or there's this other option that you can go for, which is the, if we go back to the screenshot manager, you can click on these images and you can click upload to s upload selected shot slot blah, I should say profile is not connected now I'm getting that because at the moment I'm playing with a development build of Eurotruck okay but once this thing comes out on Steam once 1.6 is out on Steam it will be connected with my World of Trucks account and what happens then is when I click this this photo is going to go up to my World of Trucks account so it will then appear, let me go back to the squirrel's nuts, you get six photographs, okay? And they'll appear here. This is, this is basically six of your best photos that you've got. And from here now, look, you can share on Twitter, you can share on Google+, share on Facebook, and even you can share it within um, the game and, uh, sorry, within the World Truck website and other people can come and rate it. So it's just brilliant. You're going to see, which is why you start to see some gallery shots here, you're going to see some incredible photographs of that people will do from the inside the game. And it'll certainly make my life easy just to create thumbnails for my videos, but I think that's a great feature. Um, and that is just the start of some of the integration that they've got coming. Now then, 
some people have asked about this okay this is the new volvo fh that apparently was going to come out with 1.6 but it's not quite made it okay so this truck that you're looking at here is not out yet with 1.6 this is coming out with 1.7 pavel told me that they're hoping to get this out they're hoping to get 1.7 out before get this get this guys before halloween now given we're in the middle of october and halloween's in two weeks time think about that we've gone from what six eight months without patches to all of a sudden they're starting to do very short and focused releases to try and get us content as quickly as possible so assuming they make it this will be out the new volvo fh will be out in time for halloween and it will come with this pumpkin skin as well which is just super cool finally if you if you're one of those naughty people that's playing with a um an illegal version of euro truck shall we say because whatever you couldn't afford to buy it blah 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 you're not going to be able to do any of this you're not going to get world of trucks integration and this is just the start of it they're going to add more and more stuff to this this is the beginnings of the ascent towards multiplayer okay this is the beginnings of the ascent towards getting you virtual trucking companies it'll all be done here yeah this is going to be so cool if you play your truck the integration is going to blossom now between your truck and world of trucks website and i'm i love it i think this is awesome and if you still can't afford this game let me show you something gamersgate.co.uk right now and for the next four days from making this video the next four days you can get your truck simulator 2 a legal legal copy for five pounds ten that's a 66 percent off deal seriously if you can't afford a fiver and that's basically a big mac meal with a large drink and perhaps a, a smooth a, a mc thingy mc ice cream jobby whatever they're called seriously if you can't afford that i have no sympathy you'd be you'd be mad to miss this if you love trucking seriously buy this now you can use the keen steam you know create your world of trucks account and off you go you're set yeah no excuse so that's basically what's in 1.6 i've shown you the various options shown you how to use the the horn i've shown you how to use the photo studio how to turn on the fuel consumption we've talked about 1.7 and volvo fh in 1.8 which will be not long after the new ai is coming yep no more getting really annoyed at all the ai in the game They've re rewritten it completely. It's going to function a lot better. I can't wait for that. But hopefully these focused updates, we're going to start seeing regular drops every few weeks now. Absolutely brilliant. And finally, before I end the video, I just want to mention this, if you go and look at the SCS blog. This was from back in September. This is American Truck Simulator. This is what else they're working on. So as well as doing regular drops in Euro Truck, look at this. Oh, my life. I cannot wait to play this game american truck simulator all of you guys in north america obviously you know you're going to be super excited for this stuff but i've got to say that i'm super excited for it too look at that it's brilliant i cannot wait to play this game sadly we are going to have to wait for it because i think it's going to be probably early 2012 before they make that early release that they talked about that pavel talked about on the live stream but the future's bright, the future's Euro Truck. Go and get the game if you don't already have it. If you do, get yourself 1.6. Get yourself a setup on World of Trucks now because you want to reserve your name, whatever that name is. That's it from me. I shall bring more Euro Truck videos out very soon. Take care, guys. Oops, we need to go out here for this, don't we? We can't go out without doing this, I'm sorry. Take care, guys. That was a fail. Should we do that again? Take care, guys. Happy trucking.